Welcome to Morning Man with Pastor Steve Myrie. Today's topic, the power of prayer. Then he said unto me, Fear not, Daniel, for from the first day that thou didst set thine heart to understand and to chasten thyself before God, thy words were heard, and I am come for thy words. But the prince of the kingdom of Persia withstood me one and twenty days. But though Michael, one of the chief princes, came and helped me, and I remained there with the kings of Persia, Daniel 10, 12 through to 13. Prayer is one of the most undervalued resources of the church. The Bible teaches us that all the blessings that God wants to bestow on us, He does so through prayer. Prayer is the conduit by which His power comes in our lives and our families. Prayer is the way we lay hold on the promises and blessings of God and make them our own. Even though prayer is so essential in the life of the child of God, yet we find that prayer services and fasting services are sometimes the least supported services. Prayer is the way we commune with God. We cannot be in a relationship with God unless we communicate with Him. Prayer is so important that the disciples ask the Lord to teach them how to pray. Please note that what we call the Lord's Prayer is not actually the Lord's Prayer. The Lord actually gave them a format in how they should pray. So repeating the words of our Father which art in heaven is not a prayer, but a format in which how to pray. Prayer is how we make a request known to God. The scripture reminds us that if a man lack wisdom, that he should ask of God who give it liberally. Yes, you can gain wisdom through prayer. There are many examples we have in scripture to emphasize how important it is for us to pray. Hezekiah, when he came under attack, he went to the house of the Lord and he did pray. Hannah, who needed a child, instead of murmuring and complaining, she went to the house of God and she did pray. Notice what the scripture said about Daniel when he found out that he was about to lose his life if he could not interpret Nebuchadnezzar's dream. Daniel didn't act like he knew everything, but Daniel went home and got his friends and said, let's pray. Oh yes, there are times when you do need a prayer partner. When we go to God in prayer, we cannot go to God without believing. Scripture says a double-minded man is unbalanced in all his ways, and therefore God will not hear that man's prayer. The scripture says while Peter was locked up in prison, the church got together and the church prayed. Prayer is like having a Wi-Fi router in your house, but then there's some eras in the house where the signal is not able to come. But if you buy a Wi-Fi booster, then the signal becomes stronger. In order to boost your prayer, then you have to use fasting. You cannot fight spiritual warfare without fasting and praying. This is an amazing story where Daniel went to the Lord in prayer. Now Daniel prayed and fasted the Lord. Three weeks later, Daniel was still fasting, still praying, but yet no answer. What amazes me is when the angel showed up, the angel said to Daniel, Daniel, from the first day that you set your heart to understand, the answer was sent. Now it means that Daniel's answer would have come the very day that he prayed, but the enemy tried to block the response of God. Sometimes we pray and we don't see things coming the way that we want it, and so we give up and stop praying. But can I tell somebody, keep on praying. Daniel, after three weeks, kept on praying. If he stopped, he would have missed the move of God. Can I tell somebody, you've been praying for two days, keep on praying. Four days, keep on praying. Two weeks, keep on praying. You serve a God who hears and answers prayer. When I was growing up, there was a song that says, Did you stop to pray this morning? The irony of the situation is many persons didn't pray because they had to run out to work. And when they got home, they didn't pray because they were too tired. Ah, but what a lesson has God taught us with COVID-19. Don't make all this time go to waste. But make sure that you build your spirit man through fasting and prayer. The quote of the day, if you don't get your answer in the first day, keep on praying. Child of God, as you go today, go knowing that prayer changes things. God bless you in Jesus' name. Please remember to like and subscribe to my page on YouTube. Your support is much appreciated.